Hey guys, it's Taylor. Thanks for joining my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. I am excited today. As you can see, I am very Love Day inspired. I love my new nails that are Love Day expired too. I don't know if they're actually going to focus or not. But I wanted to come on here and do a quick tutorial on um, really matching my nail design with my eye look. So if you can see, I have a little heart on my eye look just like I have on my nails. Um, I did pair it with a red lip, but I switched it to this lip. So stay tuned, keep watching if you wanna see how I build this look. Um, like and subscribe, share with a friend, and happy love month. I love love month. So spread some love um, to everyone you meet this month. And I think that's what the world needs more of. So don't forget to do that. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. All right, so first step, obviously for me, if you watch any of my videos, are my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go pop those on. Okay, so now that we have our eyebrows on, let's go ahead and lay our base. Because these nails are very bright, um, they're bright red and light pink, I'm gonna use a white eyeshadow base so I can make sure I'm gonna get all the pigment of the colors that I'm using. I'm using the NYX um, white eyeshadow base today. Go ahead and put that on. I will still put um, translucent powder over it to set it, but not as much, not really packing it in there. So hopefully still some of the creaminess will work um, to get the pigment to stay in the eyeshadow to really stick. And you know, actually, I think I am going to do a second layer of this because I want it to be really white. If you didn't notice, I have like a white um, heart on my nails. So I'm going to use application tape and we're going to see if it sticks or not. And I'm going to put this um, on the white while we're doing the eye look and see if it comes out white or not. Let's hope so. Um, so let me get some scissors to cut out my heart little sticker. So I'm gonna use a white eyeliner to really achieve the white I was looking for. Okay, we got that on. Now let's get our stickers on and we can begin this eye look. I'm hoping the stickers actually stay. I just made it out of application tape again. I didn't buy these. Okay, they're on there. Let's hope they stay there. I think I am gonna keep it matte, but we'll see. We'll see what we come up with. All right, so I'm gonna start with a baby pink. Trying to be careful over the sticker. Sort of patting over it instead of swiping. I really like these two colors alone, but I will add um, a little darker so we can um, smoky the eye a bit and um, play into the red that I have the red pop that I have I might just do a red lip too because there's no bright red that would really look good with this look so what I'm adding to this look is more of like a reddish plum um, or like rust and then we'll have the bright red lip to equate for the red nail um, but I don't want this hot pink to say so much hot pink because I don't have hot pink nails. I have, um, you can't see really because they look white, um, baby pink nails and then a red pop. So with that being said, I'm going to take a little rust and a little plum and deepen that. 
I'll do a little liner, but um, my heart is touching my lash line, so I don't want to have a big liner and mess up the heart shape. But I will just do a little line and throw on some lashes to accentuate my eye shape. And I'll let you guys see the final look when I return. All right, so I can complete it my face. I'm baking right now. Let's finish the bottom lash line. I'm gonna add a little bit of that plum um, rusty color. It's already sort of there, but I'm just gonna reiterate it on the outside. And on the inside, I'll put a little bit more of the pink color that is already sort of there from the top lash. I'm gonna put an inner corner highlight with rose gold um, highlighter from Maybelline. Ooh, 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 that's so cute. Now we're gonna um, add the bottom line mascara. I don't really wanna go with waterline black i'll just do the little lash strokes oh yeah <laughs> So after we spray, now we can add our bottom lash mascara. Now you know me, usually I would just like uh, my favorite go-to lined gloss look, but since we're trying to match my nails, I'm going to um, try on this red lipstick. It's gonna be Pearl Next Door by um, ColourPop, lined in Copenhagen by NYX. And we'll see how it looks, but most, more than likely I'm going to, if I wear this look out, I wouldn't wear it with this, but I will commit to topic and theme. So let's go for it. Yeah, no way I'm keeping this lip with it. Um, and it's honestly not as bright as my nails are, but hey, I, I did what I said I would do. I love the eye look. I don't know about the brightness of the red with the pink um, when it comes to me wearing it as a makeup look, but I love it on my nails. So leave me any comments down below on how you like the look. If you have a love for nails um, or you know nail designs or styles, leave me some down below. I always feel like I have anxiety right before I go get my nails done because I'm like, what am I gonna do now? Like I'm always trying to think of new stuff, but then I'll get into like one thing I find and I love, and I won't leave that for like a good six months. I know I. When I first started wearing all white nails, I promise it wasn't that popular and now everybody wears all white nails. So then I went to like the nail ombre when I saw it. I know I did see it on someone else so hey, I feel you. It, it happens but it wasn't as like popular and now everybody wears the nail ombre like from the pink to the white. So I'm just like okay, I have to get on something different and so I don't know. I just like to have unique nails. So. 
these were the pick for the month um, or at least for the first half of the month and we'll see what comes next if again if you have any new ideas leave them down below thanks for watching please like and subscribe and check out my next love inspired video